somebody asked, have I met Paul Wesley? I, yeah. Um, he's actually here right now. I ran into him this morning um, looking crazy. And I was like, hi. I just saw him walking down the hallway and I was like, hi. And I didn't know what to say. I was so starstruck. I was like, oh my gosh, it's Jeremy Gilbert. And I was like, I have a beanbag chair. It was like the first thing that came to mind. And he was like, that's awesome. I need to work on that. But yeah. Danielle Rose Russell just FaceTimed me. Um, <laughs> um, I have a beanbag chair. <laughs> Sorry, Danielle, if you're watching this. When's the wedding for Danielle and I? It already happened. We're already wives. I'm sorry. Am I going to miss my wife? Yes, I was just FaceTiming her. I'm actually going to see her later today. I'm bringing things to set. Um, but yeah, I am really going to miss her. Danielle Rose Russell, I'm locked outside my apartment. Come help me. <laughs> like, where are you? <laughs> Are you wrapped? Actually, wifey. I know I'm your wifey, but come help me. Wifey, come help. Where's your wife? My wife is, she's, I, I told you guys, my wife is, her, it's her day off today. She's resting. People think that I'm like a hardcore hosey shipper, but I feel like anytime I like mention hosey, it's literally me like shipping myself with Danielle. Like, like, yeah, like, <laughs> but it's not like I'm like a team posy or team hosey. I'm like a... I'm in love with Danielle Rose Russell team. Is that a team? I feel like it is. Supposed to pick with Danielle today. I think, didn't I post a picture with her yesterday? Calm down, calm down. Me and my wife, we're trying our best. I'm gonna, I'm gonna FaceTime Danielle to keep me company. Yes, I need you to come get me. Okay, bye guys, I'm locked outside, but thank you for entertaining me for the time being. Love you guys, tune in to like six, October 20th, no, October 20th, this already happened, this Thursday. I'm so too. Bye. A lot of people are saying Hosey. <laughs> yeah, I ship Hosey too. Who's to say that Landon and I just can't share her, right? <laughs> That's the thing is like, so many people get like so angry about everything. Like you have like three groups. You have like the group that is like so happy after this week being like, Posey is life. And then you have like the subgroup being like, but Hosey, and then you have like the other group being like, where the F is Rosie? My closet, a couch, it's a little dirty in here. I probably shouldn't be showing this to you right now. I probably should have cleaned. I'm currently in my dressing room. If you guys watched my last slide, I kind of gave you a tour. I still haven't cleaned it. I know I'd want to be a unicorn. Would I actually be one? No, yeah, I would be. No room for self-doubt. If I could be a supernatural creature, which would it be? If I could be a supernatural creature, would be a unicorn. I tried to be technologically savvy and it's just not gonna work. But hi, welcome to Bryant's book club. <laughs> My phone got stolen like two weeks ago. And initially I was like, ah, oh, shit. Like, oh God, what am I gonna do? And then I was like, wait, this is awesome. And I just have been really enjoying not really using my phone ever since. I, um, that's the whole story. I thought that there was more to the story. I've been enjoying not having my phone. Ah, ah, hi, hi. Wait, I think I found you. <gasps> no, stop moving so fast. Come back, come back. Stop it. Okay, <gasps> okay. Oh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it keeps moving. <laughs> ah, I lost it. <laughs> See, as I'm like, gosh, look guys, I have this totally handled and then I drop the ball. Ah, uh, well I guess I'll just, talk to you guys until my phone dies. But for a second there, like I answered the CW like interview questions on my mom's phone because I'm just like hardcore like that. Oh wait, now it's frozen. Is my phone having a panic attack? Bodhi's a little crazy, but we love him anyways. Bodhi. <laughs> I'm back home in LA. So if you hear dogs bark, Bodhi. It's my dogs, Bodhi. <laughs> If you want to say hi to everybody, you just have to come in here. Bodhi. Bodhi, they're asking for you. He doesn't care. Barrett, do you? Barrett, come here. Come. Come. I swear they're trying. They selectively care about what I have to say. Barrett, can you please say hi to the? Come here. Come here. <clears throat> Bodhi, I said Barrett, not you. <laughs> But, but just the intimacy. I'm having a conversation with a lovely person. Go away. Cody, would you like to say hi to the people of America and England, apparently? No? 
You know, I tried to get my dogs to be social. I like came in here and they were acting all cute and I was like, oh, I'll go live and like brag about my children. And then they walk away and they beg to go outside. They're just staring at me. I wish you guys could see just how weird they are. I'm so cute. Thanks. These are the things that slow down. <laughs> so awkward. Somebody said I'm cute. I'm not cute, I'm sad. <laughs> Somebody says they're sad for me. Thank you, I'm sad for me too. <laughs> Somebody says they're in, if you're in school, don't be on our live, focus. Nah, man, stay here. <laughs> you're at school watching this? Are you on break? Stop it, focus. I have an older brother, so there's like little physical things that like come out of me. <laughs> right, because you were beaten. Had a really solid punch. Oh yeah, no, like, like, like I was getting a chip before. The chip like broke off of the hummus, and like before she could like go for it, I like she went my chip and was like, yeah! <laughs> He's like, oh my god. But like, it was in my mouth before I could even be like, that's bad, Kaylee. <laughs> Don't, Don't do that, that Kaylee. <laughs> All right. Just my brother's butt in the live. Kane. Mm, let's see. Oh no, I don't have a charger. Uh, what can I say and what can I not say? Ah! Can I ask questions about? I know. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've been chilling in my teddy bear jacket. I keep like walking around and like my mom is so annoyed with me. I keep going, Kuma mi tai na ne? Kuma mi tai na ne? Like my mom's like, shut up. I keep saying I look like a bear. I look like a bear. I look like a bear. My mom's like, okay. My mom's over me already. I've only been with my mom for a couple days. And she's like, you can go back now. I'd like you guys to know that I was wearing um, my brown jacket. And then I realized I couldn't go live in it again because people would make fun of me. Like, don't at me, you know what I mean? So, I put on my pink jacket, but I'm gonna put on my brown jacket after the <laughs> Notice me. <laughs> I noticed you, Quincy Faust. This is Quincy Faust. Bonjour. He plays MG. Yep. On Legacies. Mm-hmm. AKA Tweedled D. This is... Tweedled Kaylee. Oh. I'm Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> we love a relatable queen, as long as I'm relatable. <laughs> Somebody just said, a queen. Where? <laughs> and then it said, Joe is back. And I looked at Julia and I went, Joe. She went, yeah. I was like, like, Joe, Joe. She was like, yes. And I went, no, like, not me, Joe. Like, the real Joe. She was like, yes. I was like, holy shit. Caroline or Joe? It's both of my mothers. You can't ask me to choose between my mothers. <laughs> Hello, send me a kiss. How does, like... So cringy, like how, like you just made me be that cringy person. Help me. But I always like really have this like weird thing of like not being able to like watch kissing scenes just because like the sound is so like, like ooh, it just is so gross to me. And so like any romantic comedy, like romance movies, anything, like anytime somebody kisses, I like cringe and can't look. And it's even worse now that like I have to watch myself. And so it all started with episode four when I had to kiss Peyton and like every single day, even now, like I'm tagged every day in the kiss scene and it follows me everywhere. And now I'm like tagged every day in like the kiss scene of Peyton and I and the scene of Lulu and I and it's just like, oh, scarring. <laughs> they described it in the script as like a Mariah Carey moment. And I was sitting over there in the corner like, um, what? Somebody says, I wish I could help, but at least your hair is on point. Thank you. My eyebrows are perfect, thank you. They are? They're not mine. Uh, uh, they threw them on. <laughs> <laughs> are you watching that? You're right. <laughs> wow, somebody's yelling, kick me in the face, please. No, no thank you. I like your face. You should like your face too. Why would I do that? That's so crazy. As Kaylee, I can sit here and say, no, I don't think so. As Josie though? Did not think of that at all because I was sitting there like, there's no other choice, Roth. There totally was another choice. <laughs> Just be with help. What Josie Saltzman could do in the back of a New York City cab is definitely do a little bit of some fire spells. Josie really likes her fire and I just don't think that would end well. You know, slug drunk Josie was un- That's probably really loud, sorry. ASMR. <laughs> 
um, if you're like me, you go to hang out with people in there, um, or you're really like me and you forget to wear a bra to work, you have to go in and say, hi, can you give me a bra? Any advice on being more confident? Girl. Love yourself. Girl, love yourself. <laughs> if you guys want to send in questions, be my guest. I'm bored. How was your day? It was great until I got locked outside of my apartment. And I was like, no, Kaylee, like you're gonna Jimmy Neutron this shit. Like you're gonna have a brain blast and you're gonna remember it. Uh, I never did. I like really like tried to like force myself to like be intuitive and like try. I never did, I had to change my password. Please adopt me. I don't think that I'm mentally stable or financially stable enough to do that. Sorry. I'm not gonna talk with my mouth full because that's gross. You're such a lady. <laughs> so, says, OMG, I know how, girl or boy, tell me, help. Is Josie a good or a bad twin? <laughs> You'll have to watch Legacies to find out. Why am I like this? They're on the chair. Oh, I'm packing dirty underwear and I can't have them seeing me <laughs> at my worst. I was like, I'm gonna copy her. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the thing and I'm gonna do a moon board too. Cause like, that's what the cool girls are doing. So I got my cork board and then never did it. Somebody asked where I am in Georgia. I'd prefer not to say saying is that I'm currently sitting locked outside my apartment. <laughs> in here we have food and my favorite part, coffee. Somebody says it's almost Halloween, girl, get inside fast. <laughs> ah. um, I'll see you guys later. I won't be on your TVs tonight. Okay, I gotta go guys, but thanks for tuning in to my live. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Peace, love. Peace, love, happiness. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>